Holy shit, son! Pick up both of my kids just for the safety of everything. So, what school? Uh, they go to Creative Kids. And what's the area or address on that? Uh, they're about two blocks down the street on Pebble. Okay, and did they describe what it sounded like or what they saw or heard? They just said that it was a big, huge boom, and that and they all got taken inside, and the teachers took every precaution that they needed. So, I'm very thankful for the teachers. And how old are your kids? Uh, my kids are four and five. Great. It's very nice to meet you. Very nice to you meet you. Hear your voice. How scary! <laughs> it is scary. Um, I didn't know what actually happened um, until I did pull up. So when I got to the school, I definitely, you know, as a mom, I'm a mama bear for sure. Okay. So I wanted to keep the safety of my kids, you know, at first hand. Yeah. So were you able to get your kids? Yes, they're actually in the car right now. Yeah. So are you? How anxious are you to find out what? Um, I kind of have looked up on the news what's gone on. Um, my first thing was to call my dad and let him know, um, you know, what's going on and try to keep everybody in the family updated. Yeah. So, oh, can I get your name? Jessica. Jessica, Jessica Basinger. Uh, yes. How do you spell that? Uh, J E S S I C A B A S I N G E R. Perfect. Jessica, thanks so much. I'm John with John. Oh, brother. Nice to meet you. What school was affected? Uh, Creative Kids. It's uh, right up the street on 4855 um, Pebble Road. Uh, it's about two blocks up the road. So. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm Hi. 13. Do you mind describing one more time for me what your kids say that they heard and, and how they were feeling about it? So my kids were outside um, playing on the playground and they said that it just sounded like a big huge boom um, and they all got rushed inside. So um, I'm just thankful for the teachers. Um, and they're quick acting and keeping all the kids safe because obviously that's my number one priority um, So I definitely I definitely want to thank them and when your kids describe that were they scared what they heard? Um, my daughter is she's five and she likes action movies, so it, it kind of seems like a movie for her okay. um, But my son is is generally shooken up quite a bit so he he's definitely a little bit you know on edge so were you the only parent to pick up with your kid or did you see other parents I I didn't see any other parents uh, when I was there it was just me um, I I didn't know until I pulled up so I think that's kind of how other parents are everybody's you know trying to get back to work and trying to do things so it's a little bit difficult for us to be working and um, paying attention to news and everything that's going on on our you know on our phones and on the media and everything um, you just I'm happened to be swinging by right yeah so my son had to be picked up and I wasn't actually going to pick up my daughter but when I saw everything that was going on I just figured safety and my daughter is in the car with me about to come home as well so All right, thank you so much yeah. for talking
department was respond to the, responded today at 9.30 a.m. 9.39 a.m. for reports of a small engine plane crash. CCFD responded with five engines, two trucks, three rescues, one heavy rescue, three battalion chiefs and air resource, two staff chiefs for a total of 45 personnel. We were assisted by the LVFR or Las Vegas Fire and Rescue Hazmat Team who responded with 10 total personnel. Metro also arrived with 22 officers and personnel to assist in handling the emergency and the investigation. CCFD was dispatched at 9.40 a.m. and arrived on scene at 9.45. We mounted a fast attack on an aircraft which crashed into what appeared to be a construction trailer and adjacent construction site. We had knocked down on the resulting fire at 10.09 a.m. CCFD and Metro or Metropolitan Police Department Unified Command to work together to successfully mitigate the incident. The plane was determined to be a 1974 Cessna 310R, which is a twin engine prop plane that holds approximately five people. The plane or aircraft left the North Las Vegas VGT airport at 9.29 a.m. They had a nine minute flight and went down at 9.38 a.m. There are two confirmed fatalities. Additionally, one witness after the fact became lightheaded and was treated and released by CCFD. The FAA has arrived on scene with the coroner. They're conducting their investigation. And the FAA is the lead for the investigation. The cause has yet to be determined. Are there any questions at this time? Any occupants at the construction site during the crash? To our knowledge, there are no occupants at the construction site and we're in the process of trying to determine who owns the structure so we can let them know. Do you have any identification on the were male or female children? No ma'am. Was there a tail number for the plane? I do not have the tail number um, with me at this time. We can open up our Do we know what caused the wreck or fake bed or something like that? Uh, there are, there are uh, right now that's under investigation. We don't know what the cause was. Was there any calls made by the pilot back to the tower? Distress calls? I'm sorry, I do not have that information at this time. Did the witnesses give you any description of who reported the aircraft was flying low for several hundred yards uh, and went over their heads, uh, disappeared behind buildings, and then they heard the subsequent crash of, about 20 seconds later. So the plane took off from North Las Vegas. Have you been told where they were headed or what the whole flight was all about? I do not know that information, sir. And then when you say it, was, it crashed into a construction site, can you tell us what that construction site is and then, you know, it, did it damage it? Like, was it kind of just... Did it hit anything? What was it? So it, it appears to me that the plane crashed into a block wall that surrounded the construction site. Uh, the resulting flames appear to have impinged on what looks like a construction trailer. And Clark County Fire Department crews made access uh, with forcible entry tools into the trailer to extinguish any subsequent fire that they found inside that trailer. Um, you guys are go into the construction site uh, but the flames from the fire uh, impinged on the structure that was on the other side of the block wall. And then can you just provide some context? I mean this is a neighborhood and that wall is right next to a house. Like how close was that and could this have been a lot worse? Yeah this absolutely could have been worse. As you said there you know this isn't uh, a high uh, occupancy residential neighborhood with apartments etc but there are homes all around us. Uh, and certainly uh, the aircraft could have crashed into a struck a, a living uh, you know an occupied residential structure it did not uh, and like I said as, as far as we know it did not crash into uh, or there were no uh, personnel inside of the construction site it appeared to be vacant um, so uh, um, if, if there's if there's any positives to come from this at all uh, it's the fact that there it doesn't appear that there was anybody else involved uh, and then can you tell us, the, the, we have the FAA out here right now, um, what are they going to be doing right now and how long do you think this investigation is going to take?
So uh, I'm not an expert in aircraft crashes, uh, so I couldn't, I can't exactly tell you what their role is and how long the investigation is going to take. Um, I can ask them to come back out here and re provide a report um, on exactly, you know, how long they'll be here and what their process is. Do you know, uh, will we be able to get any closer access at any time soon? Or is there a way we can get closer to it and, and view it? get back to you on that. I, I I'll defer that to the FAA. Uh, the Clark County Fire Department is currently wrapping up their resources. As you all were watching, we're loading up our hose, etc. We're using a water tender to put out any hot spots, which I believe are all extinguished at this time. Uh, and we're going to be leaving the scene and turning it over to the FAA momentarily. We will leave uh, in the corner, of course. We will leave uh, some chief officers on scene, and I'll work